What's going on guys, it's Brendan from Outbound Media here and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make your subject skin look flawless here in Photoshop. So let's get into it. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rid of any unwanted blemishes or acne using our healing brush tool and our patch tool. Then we're going to discuss a little bit about frequency separation, what it is, how to apply it, and why you probably should be using it if you're not already. If you're new to this channel I just wanted to let you know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday to help you learn Photoshop. So if that's something you're interested in and want to keep up to date with that, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So first thing that we're going to do is obviously we're going to open up our image and we'll just zoom in to see sort of what we're working with. So we will want to try to clean up some of the acne here and on her chin and some of the blemishes around here just to and maybe around her nose as well. Some of you guys are already know your way around Photoshop pretty well. You might think that, oh, I could use my clone stamp tool to do that. But here's the here's the sitch with that. If I just duplicate this layer so I can give you guys an example. I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool and so how the clone stamp tool works is you sample an area and then you paint over another area. So as you can see is the issue with that is if, you, if I sample here and then want to maybe take out a blemish on her chin you can see that the tones of the skin don't match because the tones from her chin or the, the shadows and the color of her chin isn't going to match her cheek right here. So that's sort of the issue that we run into. Now what we can do instead is we can grab our healing brush tool. So now what our healing brush tool does is it's pretty it's a similar concept so we have to sample an area but now when we paint over it will sample and blend our tones together a little bit better. So what we want to try to do is when we take a sample we want to sample really close to wherever we're painting over. So for example, I'm gonna I wanna get rid of these these little these little acne spots here. So I'm just going to click really close to them and I'm just gonna paint them paint over them. Then it just matches up a little bit nicer. Then you can go through and just remove all the all the unwanted acne and blemishes just with this tool if you're wanting like this is a totally totally viable option for sure. So again I'm just sampling I'm just sampling close to what I want to get rid of and then just painting over just painting over accordingly something that is important for me to mention is you want to make sure that you have a soft brush selected so the hard make sure your hardness is down quite a ways now on our subject's face we see that there's this piece of hair going across since i've just discussed our healing brush i'm just going to go and use this opportunity to show you our patch tool. So our patch tool is a similar idea except we will select our area just like the lasso tool. We'll select what we want to take out and so let's go to here like that so we're just selecting that hair and now I can just hold, hover over my selection and I can drag wherever I want. So what it's going to do is just replace our selection with another with the second selection that we're dragging out. So as you see like wherever I drag out, now that is in our selection. So I'm just going to go and go down just a little bit like like this, maybe just over here. Great. And now when I press Command D, it's totally gone and that was just with just with my patch tool. So now you can also do that with blemishes as well. Um, so if I wanted to get rid of this little one on her nose, I can just go around it like that and then just move over, select a new area and then all gone just like that so that is another way of going about removing blemishes as well so I'm just gonna go through quickly and with my healing brush and just clean up any other areas that I feel like need to be cleaned up a little bit more so if you guys see under like of course under everyone's eyes we will have wrinkles and things like that so maybe we don't want to maybe I just want to get rid of this wrinkle here and maybe some of the darkness under this eye so what I can do is again I can use my healing brush and just make a size brush that's a little bit larger than our wrinkle and I'm just gonna sample right below it and then I'll just paint over like that 
and then to just get rid of some of the darkness I'm just gonna sample underneath and feather it out just like that there so if I turn it on and off you can just see the difference that that made under her eye and also all around her face so now I'm just gonna go and do the same thing over here so I'm just gonna sample underneath and I'm just gonna paint underneath just to get rid of just to get rid of any unwanted wrinkles and things like that so now if I zoom out command zero to zoom all the way out if I you can see the difference that just using our patch tool and our healing brush made. So we got rid of a bunch of acne and unwanted blemishes, and we also got rid of the hair across her face, and then along with some of the wrinkles under her eyes. So of course you'd want to zoom in, and you just want to double check around the rest of her skin. So, or you don't want to double check around the rest of your subject's skin. So just check. In this case, it'd be checking around her chest, her neck and then of course on our face. Then you can consider moving on to frequency separation. If you don't know what frequency separation is and you kind of want to learn more or see how it works, then I would definitely recommend to stick with this tutorial and see what it's all about. And then if you are familiar with frequency separation and just want to learn a little bit more, then maybe the second half is also for you. So moving on to frequency separation. So the first thing is, I'm just going to explain it to you guys really quickly. So what frequency separation is, is it blurs the skin but not the texture so it will blur all the light and the darks and the colors of the skin but it will not blur any of the pores or wrinkles or things like that it, it's it's underneath so what we have to do is we have to separate our textures from our light and our colors essentially so it's that sounds super complicated I know but bear with me and it's, it's really easy I promise so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer so we have we'll have two separate layers just like this i'm not going to rename them i'm just going to have layer one and layer one copy so our layer one is that we just did all our removal of blemishes on and now our next one is just an exact copy of the same thing so what we have to do is we're going to turn off our layer one copy now we're going to go to our we're going to go to our layer one and we're just going to go filter blur and gaussian blur so we want to select the blur that just gets rid of any any texture in the skin so I'm going to maybe for this image I'm gonna I'm gonna go around 4 so 3.9 is where I'm at and I'm just gonna click OK so now we have a blur on our image now we can turn on our layer 1 copy so now we'll click our layer 1 copy and we're gonna we're gonna go image and then apply image so essentially what just happened is what we're looking at is all the texture from our image is taking the difference from our layer one and putting it onto this layer so what you have to do is make sure make sure that your layer is selected to layer one so we're selecting our the one that we just blurred out and make sure that your blending is set to subtract so it might be it might be any one of these probably set on normal if you've never done this before but then just go down to subtract and make sure your opacity is 100% and your scale is 2 and your offset is 128. Alright, so then when you're done with that, when that's all good to go, just click OK. Now we'll go to our blending mode for our layer 1 copy and we'll just go down to linear light. Boom. And you're probably like, wow, absolutely nothing happened. And you're right, if I turn this on and off, the only thing that changed is absolutely nothing. We're still, only the blemishes are the things that we've removed. But, but, now we can go and work our frequency separation magic here. So we're going to grab our lasso tool, so we can press our lasso tool, or press L. And what we're going to do is we want to select any areas that is there's a little bit of discoloration, or the highlights are a little bit too harsh, or anything like that. So, I'm going to go around her cheeks, maybe around the edges of her nose, her lip, forehead, and then also down on her chest. So I'm going to start over on this cheek, and I'm just going to make a selection of the area that I want to blur, like that, and then now I'm just going to go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. So now you can just play around with this, but just set it to something not crazy high, but just so that it just softens the skin a bit. So I'm going to, for this, I'm going to go about, let's say, 5.5. .5. And now I'm just going to go and do the same thing over here, and then Gaussian Blur. I'm going to just keep it the same and maybe down on her chin and you can increase or decrease this as you see fit 
when you have your lasso tool selected, you'll have the option to feather or feather out your selection. So make sure your feather is nice and high, and then that way it'll just blend in to your skin a little bit better. And you can double check your feather by just pressing Q, and it will show you your selection. So everything that is not red is your selection. Is the area that it will be affecting. So again, I'm just going to blur it, blur out her chin. I'm just going to frequency separate her chin and then around her nose, give her a mustache of a lasso tool selection. Perfect. Blur that out a bit. And then in her nose here. So if you ever get an error message that says no pixels are more than 50% selected, it's because your feather is too large for the, the size of your selection. So if you have a small selection, you can just bring down your feather and then reselect that area. So I have a shortcut for my Gaussian blur since I use it so often. So for you guys, you're going to have to keep going filter, blur, Gaussian blur to do what I'm doing or for each, each selection you make. If you just want to do this quickly like I am, then you can just make a sh keyboard shortcut and you can just do that by going to edit and then down here to keyboard shortcuts, click it and then you'll you'll be able to enter your keyboard shortcut that you want from there. All right, and now I'm just going to go down. So her face is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll do a little bit more around her lip. And cool. And then around. Oh, and then I'm also going to go just above her eyes like that. And now I'm going to bring my feather back up and I'm going to do her chest. So see how there's a bit of discoloration in her skin. There's like so many lights and darks. So frequency separation will balance all that out for us. So I'm going to select around her collarbone and then just do a nice, nice bit of a blur. Maybe, maybe around there, maybe around eight. And then I'm going to go and select her chest, mid chest. Click there again until all the discoloration has gone like that and then I'm gonna go to the bottom of her chest and like that perfect and then I'm just gonna go out to the sides and there's see there's a little bit of red red blotchiness there whoops <laughs> there's a little bit of red blotchiness there so we can go ahead and blur that out as well Command D to deselect anything, and now you can just zoom in and just double check that there's nothing that you missed. So everything's looking A OK to me. So it, now it almost doesn't look like we did anything to our subject, but if we turn on turn on and off our group, you will notice how much of a difference that we have made. So we have softened her skin using frequency separation and we've also removed all of her blemishes and unwanted acne with our spot healing brush and our patch tool. So this is something that's super easy to put into practice and will dramatically improve the look of all your photos. Because of course everyone's skin isn't always quite perfect, but luckily we have the ability to retouch anything to pretty much however we want it here in Photoshop. So what we covered today is we went over what our spot healing brush and patch tools are and how to use them. Then we briefly discussed what frequency separation is, how to use it to improve your images. So if this tutorial helped you guys, I would love if you hit that like button. If you guys are new to this channel, I just wanted to let you know that I make new Photoshop tutorials every single Wednesday to help you learn Photoshop. So if that's something you'd be interested in and you want to keep up to date with my tutorials, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more of my work, you can check me out at Burnwells. I will link my Instagram down below. Or you can also check out my website at outboundmedia.net. That link is also in the description below. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys for today. This was how to create flawless skin in Photoshop. I hope this tutorial helped you guys, and I can't wait to see you back here next Wednesday for another new Photoshop tutorial. I'll see you then.